kind of fun of that video. We're gonna do little guards, more little guardsmen. Better when it was Dodger and the Cluck, but I guess it was too hard to keep training that chicken. What the fuck? What they are doing with those chicken nuggets? Okay. Okay. Clean some heart. Oh, you can walk. I forgot you can walk. In I here. think I should find my dad. Good thing I always sleep in my clothes and I'm ready to go. Yes, so you don't need to animate too many dress up now. Oh, okay, yeah, we got some stuff here. This is a super success problem for royal family. Why do they have a royal family? I think I should find my dad. Okay. What a note? This? Little, this comes on the large personas. You can love that. Maybe he wants me to work a shift for him again. Or maybe he forgot to put on underwear and needs me to bring him a pair. Bruh. Well, there's a 50-50 chance I'll get to use the Chronometer 3000 today. Here's hoping. Let's fucking go, Chronometer 5. Okay. Probably gonna end it out this long-ass loading screen, man. Why, why have 85 FPS now? And finally, the aforementioned grading pending review will be transferable to a more viable calculation. What that supposed to mean? Which is, needless to say, a more economical contrivance for evaluation. Any questions? What? Many questions. Same. Hey, Dad, I got your note. What's going on? It's like, I like this shit. I have no idea. Due to the bank of the sprawl being burned to the ground as a result of your actions, any guardsman who does not receive an above two-star rating at the end of any given shift will lose their job. Oh no, consequences of, of my actions. But I need my job for gambling. <laughs> he is really addicted to gambling, man. I'll pretend I didn't just hear that. Same. You and I both know my dad has a tendency to half-ass his way through life. Tell me why he needs to whole-ass it all of a sudden and strive for anything above two stars. Because his brain burned down. Why, I'm glad you asked. I've been authorized to award above-average job performance with cash bonuses. Nice. You mean if we get more four-star results, we'll make more money? Yes. You're as quick as your father. Before I go, here are the allotted crystals to power your tools. Nice. And with that, I'm off to tell all the other gate guards about these new rules. Well, all of them except Randy. He's been terminated. God, gosh darn it, Randy! Not Randy! That guy's a riot! <laughs> you be riot in the Which is exactly what his poor judgment led to. Wish me luck. Good luck, man. Oh, jeez. Randy was just three payments away from paying off his new catapult. I do like catapulting, though. Sounds like you need to start doing your job better. Oof. More like you need to start doing my job better. Just like you wanted to. Oh, no, man. No, that's not exactly what I meant. You don't just get to leave me here, will you? Go bet on Goblin Ball games. No Goblin Ball match today. I received a cryptic letter this morning saying they need me on palace duty. And they specifically reference that you need to cover for me again. Goblin bird, Goblin bird. Goblin bird. Looks like you're not the only one who wants you to work the gate today. Hmm. Again, not what I meant. It's not all bad news. I scored these off-brand discount crystals from my bookie Fredo as a gift for being his best client. Nice. But he mentioned that they might only work some of the time. But I like those odds. Same. Oh, Dad. You really need to talk to somebody about your gambling. You be gambling, though. You be gambling. I love you too, Lil. And with that, I'm off. Remember, two stars are better or we're out on our asses. Gotcha, Chief. No pressure. That's my girl. Ooh, that's a lot of pressure. Okay, my comrade referring to the analysis of all and put this in the office and commercial analysis of all. Oh, so that's okay, no, 
Say something. My run will be okay. Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Hmm. Okay, okay. So they're all powered. Okay. The decoder will power. Hmm. What else? Metal detector. Metal detector or X-ray. I think X-ray is better. Hmm. And then zip with some crystals. to go. Hello, ma'am. The name is Seamus McGoblin. I've been requested to do some work in the sprawl. Okay, gotcha. Just have my supplies here with me. Nothing else to declare. Oh, this! I you know it was left at my shop late last night. You can have a look if you'd like. Okay. Nice cash. I got some work to do. Come call a test to test to print the test. The legit owner of stuff. You will get your way. Help you can run your fortune official for currency. Okay. M. I think I'm gonna call the chest door. Welcome. Well, it's about time he showed up. Send him to my office, Toot Sweet, and I'll set him to work. No more doom and gloom down here in my office. Now it'll just be doom. Gotcha, What's Michael. that? Yes, I insist the horse get into the water. This is water polo after all. <laughs> what the fuck? Welcome. <laughs> You have paint with you. Are you like an artist? Me? An artist? No, ma'am. I have a real job. I'm a painter. I paint things like walls and doors. Such a Scottish accent. An artist? <laughs> oh, you're giving me a laugh. Trust. Okay, let's see. Teasing. Yeah, my mistake. Most artists I've met are hip and cool. You definitely are not hip and cool. <laughs> That's a dreadful thing to say. I would encourage you to think about how your words may affect people and choose them more carefully. I will remember that one. Okay, I think you're, you're good to go, man. Many thanks. Say, before I go, do you have a favorite color? Maybe. Mine is definitely green, but blue would be also cool. Uh, let's go with blue. Yeah. I like blue, I guess. Then I shall paint whatever it is I'm painting blue in your honor. Thanks, my dude. Thank you again. Okay, continue. How do I get four stars with this guy? Oh well.
Hear ye, hear ye. I have come to announce to the princess a proposal of marriage from my lord and master, Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petra. Prince Phineas, son of King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk, Buttermilk sounds like a coherent character name. Who was daughter of King Fangil, son of Queen Amelia, daughter of King Rupert, son of Queen Talia, daughter of King Salvatore, son of Queen Ferabel, daughter of King Algernon, son of Queen Rebecca. Thank you. Wow. Okay. I think I got it. Oh, they're starting to arrive. How wonderful. This is the representative of Prince Phineas Pomp, son of King Phineas and Queen... Oh, dear. What was her name again? Buttermilk. 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 None for me, thanks. Anyway, let them in. But for the love of... Don't let them in with that bugle. Not until I've gotten over this dreadful hangover, at least. Can I see that trumpet, or whatever, that you've got there? That is my official Petrardian greeting bugle. It is my pride and joy, and worth quite a pretty penny. Confiscate. I think for the sanity, I mean safety, of our citizens, I better take that. Okay, oh, if you must, but please be very careful with my pride and joy. Prince Phineas himself will arrive in the sprawl after a ceremonial visit to the royal sulfur mines of Petrard. Okay, he's a miner. The prince will be christening the newest of our sulfuric refineries by smashing a bottle of Petrardian fizzy over the front door. Nice. Jeez. I don't know. What's the I guess you weren't important enough to go to the big party, huh? Mm. As a matter of fact, the prince assured me it was much more important that I travel all the way here to announce his eventual arrival. I think he just thinks you're annoying, that's why. He sent you first. And you bought that? Oof. I did, until just this moment. Oof, that, oof. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think that's as much. An alliance between the great kingdom of Petrard and the Sprawl would benefit both sides mightily. Imagine the petrol and gunpowder our sulfur mines produce, combined with the technological advancements that your power crystals provide, would create a union that would make our two kingdoms the envy of the world. That's why like teasing him even more. Those sulfur mines smell like farts. Does Prince Flinflon smell like farts? Oof. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> I mean, his name is Phineas, Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrard, son of King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk, who was daughter of King... Please, stop! Okay, I can let you in then. Buttons. Let's fucking go. Onward to announce the eventual arrival of Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrard and future husband to Princess Desdemona. Incidentally, I believe there is a representative of the Marvog Empire behind me seeking to make a similar offer for the hand of the princess. Interesting. If you refuse her entry, I will give you much gold tonight. I will meet you at the tavern after your shift. Remember, do not let in the Marvog delegate. Perhaps I will not. Service, good job, continue. Okay. Next one, please. 
Good afternoon, child. I would like to enter this bustling metropolis with the desire to purchase a hat. I have lost my previous hat and I require a replacement. The hat, she was too much. Too fantastic for one man to wear. I couldn't handle the pressure of adorning such a prestigious piece of headwear. I did not lose that fantastic hat. I threw it away. What the? But what should have been my salvation was the greatest mistake of my life. And now I must find a new hat of equal, if greater, worth than my previous hat. You cannot handle the hat. I can only imagine the weight that comes with wearing such a fantastic hat. <laughs> Heavy is the head, as they say. That should be enough money to buy a new hat of equal, if not greater, magnificence than my previous hat, if such a thing even exists. Interesting. Okay. okay, let's try, I don't know, Malcolm maybe has something to say. Senor Capello Fantastico has lost his hat? Then that fortune cookie was right. Okay. Finally, there's an opening for a new fantastic hat guy in this town. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this day. Mm -hmm. Don't let him in. We can't have him finding a new hat before I do. Oh, What's that? Yes, I insist the horse get into the water. This is water polo after all. Okay, I'm gonna trust Malcolm on this one. Sad Malcolm noises. Ah, then it is not to be. I was a fool to have thrown away such a fantastic hat. My life is now void of purpose. Be or not to be your hat or not to have. Though, I suppose it was better to have worn a fantastic hat and to have thrown it away than to have never worn a fantastic hat at all. I feel kind of bad. Rewind! Good afternoon, child. Why come all this way? They do. I can make you a hat if you'd like. It can have glitter and macaroni pieces. Hmm, tempting, but that would only encompass a mere sliver of my former hat's magnificence. This old hat of yours must have been something special. Oh, it was. It was the most fantastic hat you had ever seen. That is how I acquired my name. Signor Capello Fantastico. What does that mean? Yeah, well, Mr. Fantastic Hat. Nice. Yeah, it's right. That's a very fitting name. <laughs> Alas, it was. My good name must be restored. Okay. Okay, let's talk about... Your persistent inquisition has driven me to confess. The hat, she was too much. Too fantastic for one man to wear. I couldn't handle the pressure of adorning such a prestigious piece of headwear. I did not lose that fantastic hat. I threw it away. 
But what should have been my salvation was the greatest mistake of my life. And now, I must find a new hat of equal, if not greater worth than my previous hat. I can only imagine the weight that comes with wearing such a fantastic hat. Heavy is the head, as they say. I hope you find your hat, Mr. Fantastico. Thank you, child. The next time you see me, you will say to yourself, Wow! Has that guy got a fantastic new hat? I have no doubt in my mind. I come with a message for Princess Desdemona of the Sprawl from Praetor Cargan of the Marvag Empire. The Praetor bid me say directly to the Princess, Egtag Maia Kora Una Guahatag. Grant me access to deliver this message personally, and I shall recite the Praetor's words to the Princess with honor. Hail Praetor Gargan! Kapla! I think I'm gonna deny her, but let's do some stuff. Ooh, this Are you sure you want to challenge me to ceremonial combat? Nope. Clever girl. <laughs> Clever girl. Hmm, okay. Let's try metal detector. Okay. Metal detector, maybe. Holy Haha, <laughs> 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 you are impressed by my ceremonial weapons. Each of these weapons have drank their fill of blood in ceremonial combat or of the blood of those who try to remove them from me. Nice. Return. <laughs> Ah, yes. You are indeed wise, little one. Okay. Striker. Now listen up, Rook. The Marvog are a very dangerous foe, renowned for their skill in combat. They never travel unarmed, so she's probably packing tons of ceremonial weapons on her. I cannot stress this enough. Do not try to disarm her. It will be seen as a challenge and result in your certain death. Okay, good thing I didn't take her. I lose too many guards this way. Just let her in. Oh, yeah. yeah let's try proof serum. What is that? Is it a poison mist? Oh no. Perhaps an enemy weapon to put me in a state of ease before they bounce. Death is all around me, and I must be on guard for death's cold hand at all times. I cannot sleep. I would be vulnerable to attack. I have not slept in many years, and whenever I close my eyes for a second, the ghosts of the warriors I have butchered fill my mind with dread message. Despair and die. What? What happened? That is indeed powerful magic you wield, small gatebinder. Oh no. Nah. Let's try denying her. You do not think me worthy to speak the Praetor's words to the princess? You have no honor, little one. Oof. You shall be known as an enemy to the Marvag. And Praetor Cargan will learn of the disrespect you have shown me. Oof. Man, oof. That's rough. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's sort of tea, man. That's sort of tea. Whoa there, Lucy. Hello and salutations to you, most honorable guardian of the free peoples of the sprawl. I am the envoy of the gallant Sir Beverly, a knight of some minor renown, which is also me. I have received a very special invitation from Her Majesty Princess Desdemona as she turns her royal eye to finding a suitor. Okay. If there's nothing else, I will be off to my happily ever after. I'm feeling a little chaotic. Let's pray, Malcolm. What the hell kind of horse is that? It's all lumpy and patchy. None of the natural grace and beauty that I require. I only need one more horse, but I think I can do better. Send the horse away. Ooh. What's that? Yes, I insist the horse get into the water. This is water polo, after all. <laughs> hmm. What? What things I got left? Ooh, let's bring this thing. Nope. Oof. Okay. Let's try the clothing. Can I see this invitation? This letter looks like you made it yourself using old newspaper clippings. <laughs> and it's on the back of a Monty's restaurant flyer. Boy, you have keen eyes. All right, so maybe I wasn't invited, per se. Per se. <laughs> but I know the princess will be happy to see me, so I made this myself. Anyway, keep the flyer. Monty's serves incredible soup. I'm feeling chaotic. I don't know, I think I want to let him in. When word reached me that Princess Desdemona was going to be entertaining potential suitors, I knew my days of jousting and dragon slaying were behind me. I saddled up my faithful steed, Lucy, and rode hard across the realm. For thrice three days we rode, stopping only to aid those in distress and relieve ourselves. Now, we are here to exclaim our dearest devotion to the beautiful princess, the fairest flower in a whole field of fair flowers. Jeez. Not right now, thing. You really don't look like the dragon-slaying type. Looks can be deceiving. By my eyes, you don't look like the castle-guarding type. Ouch. I'm not. This is my dad's job. I'm filling in. You're proving my point. She has the point to the point, though. I don't know. I'm feeling chaotic. You won't regret this, my new, dare I say it, best friend. A newly made best friend and a chance for true love. Could this day get any better? I think not. I like this guy. Adieu. Adieu. Parting makes me really sad. And so I will say adieu this one more time. Adieu. <laughs> On, Lucy. This is gonna be a really interesting You cannot handle the love. Hey kid, are you Lil? Yes. That's me. Okay, good. Got a mysterious letter here for you? Nice. Who's it from? I'm not authorized to know. Okay. That is mysterious. Interesting. Does this mysterious letter have anything to do with the one my dad Hamish got this morning? Maybe. Your dad is Hamish? What a good guy. Did you hear about Randy, though? Only three payments away on that catapult. Yeah, it's a real shame. Anyways, just take the note. I got to get back to work. Thanks. Wicked. 3,000. See you around, kid. I 
still got a little over 17 to give to make him try to skin me. You got this mode comes along with the long grip sense and meet after that together we make our stun roll. Okay. Cool. Nothing weird or creepy about that. Cool. So cool. Where's that music coming from? What is happening? Traveled from afar, a simple girl who wished upon a star. Inside this castle lies my fate. Perhaps I'll even get a date. <laughs> to my old life, I sing or a bar. And you are? This has become a fucking musical. It's Lil, and you need a good reason to be let in. But so far, I'm not optimistic. Do you have any idea or anything? I assure you that my heart is true. Must this be a hole to do? Inside these walls, my destiny awaits. It just feels like if you weren't singing, we could move the plot along faster. Yeah, it's little has been little already. Yeah, I'm feeling chaotic. Let's go, welcome. Can't talk. Teaching horses how to play water polo. Excuse me, who are you talking to? What are you saying to them? Are you talking about me? Behind my back? I'm right in front of you. Oh, it drives me crazy when people talk about me behind my back right in front of me. This is making me angry. Oh, no. Oh, maybe let's try singing? At times like this, what helps is this. Calming down. This isn't a duet. I'm the star here. You think you're going to burn me? It's me that's going to burn you. <laughs> oh no, she's completely crazy. Game over. You died. Whoa! I didn't think this was that kind of game. Where's that music coming from? What is happening? Good afternoon, I've traveled from a farm. Took a dark turn. <laughs> okay. okay, Lil. Now that we're real bosom friends, I guess I can open up to you. Okay. Can you just tell me and not sing it? Nope. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah. I guess that it's all so true. Why I ventured here to you is that. For smuggling drugs and piracy For setting many fires and causing grief So much grief Oh my god! Just because you're singing it doesn't make any of that remotely okay! Right, she has a Disney villain song can I tell you a secret? I may have a large sum of gold that I brought with me to start my new life in the big city. Mm -hmm. If you can forget a few things that I just sang at you, 
I'll give you 50 gold coins. Can you imagine? Oh, no. Think about how many musicals you could go see with 50 gold coins. That's a lot of But money. I'll only give it to you if you let me in right now. 50 gold coins. Refuse. Oh, fiddlesticks. Oh, fiddlesticks. That's definitely not. See now that you aren't my friend My time here is about to end You haven't seen the last of me You're the worst! <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, I don't have enough keys. That was a long day. Yeah, good enough. The present book got a little dark now. That was a crazy day. <laughs> oh my god, you killed the soul. Oh my god, you killed the child. child <laughs> okay so it's quicker than he arrived right. prisoner summons her hands swim brought her from her side realization of the blood to explore oh no is this the right place Probably. it is I mean um Enter if you dare. Okay. Hello, royal advisors. Oh, you dared. Hello. Welcome to my lair of chaos. Oh, can you enter? That's a nice poster. And some whips. It looks like a bedroom. It is both. It is his damn bedroom. <laughs> Bruh. It can be two things. I'm a minimalist. Uh, I can't argue with that. So, this is the little guardsman we've been talking about. Wait, you are, right? Yes. yes. I can't imagine why I wouldn't be. Good news, little girl. You're going to be working the gate for the foreseeable future. What? That's not good news. Why me? I hardly have a grasp on what I'm doing, and I'm barely tall enough to see over the desk. True, true. I see. Then you're free to go. Let's go. Keep it together, Mal. Listen, little girl. We have eyes and ears all over the city, but the gates have always been a blind spot for me. Interesting. The point is, the safety and security of the sprawl must be preserved and protected, and you might be positioned to help maintain the balance. Do you understand our meaning? Yes. Going forward, we want you to enact our wishes and whims when deciding who should enter and not enter the sprawl. Understand? Mm, absolutely. What if I refuse? You can't make me do anything I don't want to do. I'm 12 years old. Yeah. Damn it. You've got us there. But how about we leave it up to chance? 
Guess which hand is holding the colored ball, and we'll forget about the whole thing. But if you guess it correctly, you agree to do our bidding no matter how nefarious or unreasonable. Sound like a deal? Do I even have a choice? Yes. You choose which hand. Not the brightest one, is she? Maybe Ashley. Maybe strike her. No, let's go ahead and strike her. His right hand. Pick his right hand. You can't go wrong when you pick right. Malcolm is left-handed, I think. So I'd pick his left hand. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. That was the wrong choice. What you should have chosen was my foot. You clever bastard. You sneaky son of a gun. But you said it would be in your hand. And what is the foot if not the hand of the leg? You lost fair and square. Motherfucker. But... Oh, and don't worry about your father. We're each quite capable at finding ways to keep him busy, making sure you have to cover for him. Oh, come on. But... That concludes this briefing. We suggest you go back home, rest, and wake up tomorrow prepared to go to your new mundane job, which you will work at for the foreseeable future. That's being an adult, madam. It's called being an adult. Keep an eye out for our directives in your daily guardsman writ. I trust you won't disappoint us. Goodbye! Yes, I'm better than working at McDonald's, so... Why did you turn off the light? She obviously knows we're still here. Bruh. She wouldn't have known that if you didn't start talking. Bruh. I should have brought another drink. Same. <laughs> okay. No, that's the floor. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Boy, what a day. Hey, Arda, pour me a cold one, will ya? <laughs> Make that two, Arda. Hey, wait a minute. You're too young to be drinking cold ones. Make hers a milk, please, Art. Can it at least be cold? That depends. How did work go today? Did better than a two-star rating, I can tell you that. How was... What were you doing again? The bidding of the three royal advisors. Okay. Do you think it's normal that the big names and faces of this city are using us for their own personal and political gain? She's too smart. You need to execute her. After today... I don't know what's normal anymore. There's someone waiting for you in the back alley. Garcy blinkers, Gerby bonbons. Anyways, it's just through that door over there. Thanks. That's a lot of people. That Malcolm is a madman, but at least he pays well. And with you working the guard shed, I'm pulling in two salaries. Your milk is on me. Hey, we have extra of the daily special today. Eggs and oil and lemon. Do you and your dad want to take it? No, we're not going to take it. Dad, no food. Hello, head guy. Let me talk with you. This hat, it is not as fantastic as my previous hat. My journey, it continues. TV's not working. It's broken. If you can find someone to fix it, be my guest. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Aha! There she is, the brilliant little half pint running the desk. I trust you refused entry to the envoy from the Marvog Empire like we talked about? Yes. No, give me the money. If you did, I have the gold I promised you right here. Yep, I sure did. Kick their ass back to Marvog. <laughs> Haha. 
incredible bravery in the face of a brutal murderer. Oh, you know, all in a day's work. What kind of gold are we talking about here? I have here 20 pieces of gold. Fair is fair. Take them. They are yours and with many thanks from Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrad, son of King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk, who was daughter of King... Just the gold, thank you. Oh, yes, here you are. They are yours and with many thanks from Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrad, son of King Phineas... Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. What you gonna call Ghostbusters? Lil, you came. Hello there. How is the night, Steve? Welcome to Garby Bunches and Thorium of Wonder. You're my very first customer. I was actually inspired by watching you alternately help and hinder folks at the gate yesterday. And I thought, Garby, there must be an industry of enterprising individuals supporting the guards. And when I looked around, there wasn't. Yeah, that's a smart idea. So I met a mage who's got a magic crystal hookup. And now I'm selling guardsman tool power-ups. We need the blue stuff. If you've got the cash, I can sell you extra power crystals. Both the good kind and the cheap roll the dice and see what happens kind. As well as power-ups for all of your tools. It's pricey, but the more crystals you can load into those bad boys, the better. Finally, if you need cash, you can sell me anything you might have taken off of unsuspecting suckers. Here, take a look. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Um, I think group space I would want to upgrade. This Anything else? Yeah. What about you? This hat. It is not as fantastic as my previous hat. My journey, it continues. Okay. Hey, we have extra of the daily special today. Eggs and oil and lemon. Do you and your dad want to take it? No, we're not going to take it. That Malcolm is a madman, but at least he paid. Maybe one day you can cover for me here at the bar. I don't really have anywhere to be. Okay, let's go this. I think I've done everything I need to do, but are you sure you're ready to hit the hay? Yeah. Quiet, you. <laughs> hit the hay. Hit the fucking hay. <sighs> Holy shit, man. Holy shit. Okay, okay. 
Tell Bob Ange to make a few volunteers of the letters. Press up the letters and go. Make Tom Hunter to come on. And let him go for his visit to the Blue River. With smart and heavy manage to get to the Blue River. Then by bringing them to me. His name is Ange. Tom Apple Spy. Quickly grab him with his own sword. So let's expect him to get to the sensation. Oof. Senior of the law fantastic of the other school began first for purple hair and trial with this of the suit before Trevor Trevor was a good commander of the legendary will get a hit so that he has a section for his issue to the field of fantastic will not belong to the top of the head or something now we will Tom Trotter Tom Weir Hatched in complete armies and the field are made of them in the ground to be top of the school Tom Tom Weir Shield for the images of Tom Weir Tom Weir Tom 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 Ok Step up Tom Weir Tom Step up with me Tom Tom Weir 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 Oh no, we made a strong enemy. I think that this is a bit of a pulse that was fine to see what's on the house. Oh no, he is too. So full of sexy feelings that we haven't set in time to do this before the war. Such a strange number of questions that have been very reduced to this episode so far. Oh come on, man. We got a rough day, man. Ten weeks arrived. It's news in the morning with me, your news anchor, Manuel Mentiroso. Breaking news. The chosen suitors for our beloved and newly available Princess Desdemona will be arriving today in the sprawl. Nice. Be on the lookout for royal carriages, entourages, and attitudes. Gotcha, chief. Breaking news. The Duchess of Scarborough's prized pet cat, Sprankles, has passed away at the age of 43. A representative from the Small Rodent and Budgie Coalition shared their condolences, then immediately scampered around without reserve. Breaking news. The Sprawl will be host to a Goblin Ball match today between our Sprawl Brawlers and the opposing Kaladar Lightning at the Goblin Ball Arena. Breaking news. That was my last piece of breaking news. Keep tuning in for all your sprawl news updates. We now return to our regularly scheduled radio silence. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be it for this recording. Stop recording.